Hello everyone, I have decided to record this video for people who have trouble uh, following uh, Blender Guru's uh, normal map uh, uh, video tutorial because uh, his tutorial is really outdated and uh, the current version Blender 3.0 has uh, uh, different menus, different workflow. So uh, yeah, uh, I have spent like three hours trying to find the solution for my uh, screwed up normal map. So hopefully uh, my solution that I will provide here will help you. So, okay. Uh, first, let's uh, create a texture. So you click on, uh, first you need to switch to the image editor view here. Uh, on you can find the menu switch in the upper left uh, corner of your uh, editor view. So on top we have plus new, we click on it, uh, name it, for example, normal test. Uh, I will keep the resolution, resolution low because uh, usually you want it at 4K resolution, so 496, uh, but you know, here, since it's only a test, I will keep it low, so click OK, here's our texture. So on the bottom we have a, um, sh a shader editor. And it's uh, basically selecting my uh, shaders that, of an object that I currently have selected. So this is a high poly version of the anvil that I have done my sculpting on. Uh, one thing that some people have said might help you. Uh, again, uh, in my case, it wasn't an issue, but uh, perhaps you need to remove your materials and just create a blank new one just 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 a regular white material because i guess sometimes it might create issues of how the rendering of how the baking of the material works like in blender so just have it on a help your sculpt be on normal white material just a basic material so uh now let's uh start you know going for the baking process uh, click on your low poly anvil and then use uh, shift to click on your high poly so your low poly anvil it's supposed it's supposed to have uh, a bright orange color while your uh, high poly anvil is supposed to have dark orange color so okay now we click on onto our uh, render properties and here this is really important it might save you a lot of time make sure it's gpu and not cpu because for some reason in my case it switched to cpu and it, it took a really long time to do any sort of uh baking so you click on gpu uh set this to something really low because uh it is not our final uh baking so we want to have the max sample set as low as possible so we can make faster iterations and also decrease remove denoise it also might save you a little bit of time go to the bake menu so here is uh one of the i guess biggest uh mistakes that a lot of people make is that they don't check their bake type uh make sure that the bake type is set normal and not combined now we need to click on select to active this basically will uh, bake in our um, high poly anvil to our low poly model so another thing that you might want to do is you might you know select both anvil and um, your high poly and low poly anvil and you might want to click alt g it will move both of these objects in the same especially is essentially to the same origin i guess uh, so after that here we have two settings extrusion and mac max ray distance they are really similar in my experience and uh, both of those things might work so let's uh try max ray ray distance so uh i recommend setting the value to be 
really really low like 0, 0 0.5 and then you click on bake actually no wait before we do that don't click on bake uh, here in the shader uh, shader uh, editor you press shift a uh, search for normal normal map and then you press shift a again uh, and search for texture or image texture yep uh, you plug in the color of the offers you need to choose your normal uh, textures that you have created here right uh, set color space to non-color in some cases for some reason this area is grayed out maybe blender already knows that it is a normal so it grays it out uh, and then you plug in normal into the normal slot uh, i would also recommend disconnect any sort of textures you have applied here just for the texting purposes so now uh, you need to click on the normal uh, normal node, uh, the, the, the image, and now you press bake. So it will take a little bit of time, but here we have probably what most people have like uh, issues with their, um, their normal maps. It's all patchy and it, it's, it's a mess. Um, uh, that's such a, I've been trying to solve this for such a long time, but yeah, you set your max array distance to zero, zero, five, for example. So it's, it's really, really low. Oh, why doesn't it set? Okay. Okay, now, now it, it's supposed to work and you press bake again. And now it's, yep, it, now it's fixed. So here's a little bit of yellow. Uh, how do you fix that? I usually set it even lower uh you go lower and usually it goes away uh, i don't really think there's any drawback of going low but i guess there is a drawback to going high i guess if you go too low it will just flatten it yep it will just flatten your normal map but if you go too high it will essentially um i guess make it It'll break the texture essentially. So uh, let's talk about the the um, uh, extrusion. Uh, ex extrusion is uh, is really similar to max ray distance. So I would say that I, in my personal experience, the values that you would probably choose for the Anvil tutorial is somewhere between 0 0.01 to 0 0.05. So now let's try it. So yeah, here uh, it's a bit less precise in my experience. Like ex uh, the extrusion is again, it's a, it's almost the same thing. I mean, yeah, technically it's also two really different things, but in my experience they're really similar. And uh, I guess it's it's extrusion is just not as precise. But what I've read in the comments section on YouTube, it it is generally works better for most users send the max ray distance so 0 0.1 to 0 0.5 is like optimal for play around with different values maybe uh, maybe we need to set it lower maybe 0, 0 0.5 will work better nope see uh, like there's the artifact so uh, yeah as i said 0 0.01 to 0 0.5 is uh, the best uh, kind of uh, value that uh, that worked for me at least. So here, yeah, fixed well, fixed almost everything besides this little patchy area here, which is the little hole. But overall, I think this is really good, and uh, hopefully that will solve your issues. Again, make sure that the sculpt or high definition model has um, a regular texture, just a blank blank white texture make sure that you either using the extrusion or my max uh, ray distance if you're using uh, max ray distance go low and if you use extrusion go uh, use values between 0 0.01 
to 0 0.05 okay and after you are satisfied with how your normal map uh, looks you can go back to your render settings you can set it back to 496 whatever you want it to be turn on denoise and uh you know press bake and i'm not gonna do it because it will take <laughs> a long time but uh yeah hopefully my uh little tutorial helped you guys bye bye